we're going to show you how to do a warping feature in Photoshop. Well, Brandon's going to show us how to do that, yep. to basically put it around a shirt, a head. You want to put a tattoo on someone's arm, mm -hmm. um, see what it would look like to have your family coat of arms on the side of a mug. You can do that sort of thing as well. Warping's a neat little feature that uh, it's kind of unknown. Like most people know that when you have a you know, a layer, you can grab the edges and shrink it and pull it and mess with it that way. Right. But then you're always wondering, what if I want to curve this? Or, yeah. And that's kind of what you can do with warping. I'm okay. going to take you here. As you can see here, we already have an image um, <laughs> where we've, we've warped Dee Lee not only around the mug, but we've also given him the fat head that he always wanted. <laughs> so as, as you can see here, the, the wonderful quality and detail of this mug, I ava love the available on QVC. <laughs> Well, that was too large to see of me. Uh, it, <laughs> now you know why we haven't done the show in HD. It's and I, and now you know what I go through in person. <laughs> okay, um, so next we've got ourselves a, another photo. If we can get my bar to come up. And it's hiding all the way at the bottom. I know, I've hit it down there. Sorry about that. Okay. Oh, Here we are. He's, what a cutie pie. He, he really is. He's a sweetie. <laughs> Ladies, he's available. So you just drag and drop that drink yeah, into just the other image? Yeah, drug it in. It was okay. an image that I brought earlier. We actually took these with the eyesight on top of the okay. iMac here. I'll just shrink that down. And like I said, you, you guys already know about all this. You know, you can shrink things down, holding shift to bring that in. Here I am. Fill in the shift key to make sure you don't warp the image and make it too squished. Yeah. But it is a great way to lose weight. And, and the more I look at this picture, all my friends tell me I look like JD from Scrubs, and I don't see it. If, if you guys see it, tell me, but I don't see it. Oh, I did one of those stars and you thing online where you can actually put your picture up, and they actually, the JD from mm -hmm. Scrubs, they said I looked like it and with one of the pictures I uploaded. So well, Evidently, the website was broken, so don't <laughs> go to that website that Dealey went to. We apparently look like the guys on Scrubs. Evidently. All right, so the way you find the warp oh, tool... Oh, had curly locks. <laughs> <laughs> the way you find the warp tool is actually going in and you just grab like you would transfer normally. Just click on one of those edges to where you get those lines like this. Okay. And you'll notice up here at the top. So you just clicked on one of the corners. Yeah. Okay. So if I hit that, you'll see at the top right now, I'm going to show you right here. At the top, okay. before I do that, there's nothing. But after I just click on that, it ah, transforms everything. It's like a little windshield washer. And that's the way everything in Photoshop and everything you know, Adobe does is you click on something and a whole new world of options You wouldn't even notice there. it. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't even know this was here if Brandon hadn't told us about yeah. that. So Thanks. when I click on that, it, you see it brings like this grid up. Okay. And it's really cool. If you actually wanted to go through, there's some settings in here that you can change to uh, some pre-built settings that will... <laughs> Make it yeah, hard. Okay. Yeah, yeah have some fun with you, basically. It's kind of a bulge. Or you can do, like I'm going to show you now, the custom, which okay. I'm actually going to uh, step back and undo all those that I just did. Yeah, because you didn't look what you know, Yeah, it bubbled me and face it, I have trouble already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so each of these little edges you can grab. So you can grab the corners and mess with those like you normally mm -hmm. would. You see right here, I'm going to try to make it to where I look like my picture is actually bending around the mug. And I'm not going to take a lot of time on it, so I can do any potential um, employers out there who <laughs> want to hire me. This isn't my full skill. You're okay. not going anywhere, are you, Brandon? You're not leaving us, are you? Depends on what the money says, <laughs> Lee. Okay, but... Um, I'm going to get more of those donations. <laughs> But as you can see right here, I can just drag any of these. Also, the cool thing is you can actually click within the picture. Ah. Drag those individual spots. You can drag, like, the little lines there. You can drag these lines. Okay. So you can get everything. I'm really messing my face up badly right now. Okay. And my mom's probably crying about this. So um, I'm going to stop hurting myself now. Now, and can we see what it looks like? I'm hard to make yeah. out the grids. How can we hide those? What, what you would do is you would do like anything else, like if you have the lines in it or anything like that. You would just go to View, and you could, for extras, oh, pick Apple Hide. Oh, H to hide. Or just Apple H, which, as you know, for most other programs in it would hide the whole Apple, it hides the whole application. Um, it's Control H in Windows, I believe, okay. to do this. Um, so that's how you can warp so, it around, like you did my yeah. picture earlier. He spent a little more time on mine, so I think it looks a little bit better. Okay, you'll, maybe it's just me in the picture that makes you, it look better. You always do, Dealey. Now, see, I hit Apple H again. It's going to bring everything back. And you can play around with it. Yeah, I can play around with it more if I want to or whatnot. Actually, the funny thing about that is if you hit Apple H, you can still... I'll still do it. It just hides Yeah, it just the hides the bar, okay. so it makes okay. it a little harder to see. So. But the grid's nice for you to kind yeah. of make some logical it's nice choices. nice to stretch, and then you can grab, like I said, individual parts and stretch those out. Okay. If I wanted to, I could spend all day on this. And I mean, it's a picture of me, so I really could spend all day on this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I don't doubt it. <laughs> okay. Um, two ways to get out of this. You can either go over here and click another thing, and you can hit apply, don't apply, cancel, or you can just click that again, and it'll okay. go ahead and apply it. 
Um, so there it is. And then at that point, you can just hit return because it was still in transform mode. But what if you wanted to add the Aztecis logo to like on the mug as well? Like right yeah, below something, something that's a little bit more linear to it. So I could go ahead and toss this in here. And I'll probably need to drag that to the layer above me. Okay. Hurts me so bad to put something above me daily. This would be a nice example because this mm -hmm. is just definite straight line. You may not realize the power of what he's doing with our faces because they're kind of round surfaces anyway. Mm -hmm. But this will really show the power of it. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this little so bit. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah. Because when you work with things that are like this, you want to go closer. Let's see. My problem is I need to bump it up a little bit. And this will all be, like I said, you know, you'll have to take your time with it and mm -hmm. make sure you get it to look right and all that. But, oops. Got to get on the little dots, I guess. Yep. Okay. Doesn't like that. So you pull that down. Basically, are you, are you trying to follow the curve of the bottom of the mug? Yeah, that's what I'll be trying to do is I'm going to pull that. And then I'll do the same with the top up there. Okay. Just pulling it down. And yep. you see right here, what I'm actually doing is I did this to show you something. If you hold the shift in, it's almost like it folds it over. Yeah, it does. That's the cool thing about that. So, yeah, I did that to show you. Honestly, I did. <laughs> um, but, yeah, this is a really neat tool. Let me see if I can grab it. Sorry, here we're good. <laughs> does it want me to grab? Okay, here we there go. There we go. This resolution is a little messed up. Okay. Yeah, it's hard on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag that down. Drag that down. And you see this time it's actually doing something a little bit different. It's actually pulling everything down. And then I can just keep pulling these. And then I'll pull the middle down. Because mm -hmm, you've got to get the middle, too. It's not just the edges. You've got to get the yeah. middle as well. Yeah. And just pull and try to keep, it all down. So you've got to keep the middle height the same as the side heights if you really want it to look ideal. Mm -hmm. But then you might still have to grab the techies text and pull the middle down yeah. to make sure it works right. And this by no means will look gorgeous by the time I'm done with it. But Yeah. It's just, you want good artwork. You don't do it in two minutes. Exactly. You, you hire me to do it for about two or three hours. <laughs> okay. Um, well, like I said, or it's not... it out on a real mug. <laughs> Again, you could hire me for that. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and click this. And, like I said, granted, it's not gorgeous, but you get the idea to it. And if yeah. you really want to spend more time, you could stretch it out. And it takes a nice little degree of, you know, going through the high and doing all this for it to look great. But mm -hmm. um, it's a really powerful tool, as Dealey said. Just imagine if you are... We talked about it earlier, you know, a company has mugs or a T-shirt... I've actually done this with a friend on T-shirt. He had this character that he had on a on a game that we play online, and you know we use picture bases of real people. Mm -hmm. Well, he had a, this guy had a shirt, but he wanted it to say this slogan on a shirt. Well, the thing was, it was a shirt that was you know shirts aren't perfectly straight when people wear them. Right. So I put the slogan on there, and I was like, you know, something's not right about that. Actually, took it, vectorized the um, or rasterized. I'm sorry, rasterized the text and molded it and formed it to yeah. look like his shirt. So now when you look at it, it actually looks like the guy was wearing the shirt that said that. And by the way, we'd love for you to send in some of the pictures using this technique. Mm -hmm. Take the Aztecis logo. We'll have it available on our website so you can download a copy of it that you can actually pop into some sort of document. If you want to take a still picture from one of our videos and give me a tattoo across my head with the logo, that's fine. Uh, or give me an Apple logo if you want, although we might have copyright issues on that. I may not be able to put that up on our website. But if anything you want to do for fun, if we think it's funny too, share it with us. We might actually post it up on our website or mention it in one of our upcoming videos. Okay. Get enough of them up there, we might put ourselves a little, what do you think's better? And the winner gets on the video. To have a contest, sure. That sounds like a lot of fun. So play with this, have fun. That's what this is all about. If you're not having fun, what's the point?